Good morning. My name is Ashley Mittal, and I'm a sophomore at Emory University, double majoring in biology and anthropology. Today, I'll be presenting on Curcuma longa, commonly known as turmeric, of the Zingiberaceae family. So, a quick glance at turmeric. The name was actually derived from a French name, meaning meritorious earth, and today, a lot of the common names include Haldi in Hindi, Saffron de India in French, Chiang Huzang in Chinese, and Curcuma in German. The plant actually has a wide range of uses, not only as a medicine, but as a spice, in religious ceremonies, and as a coloring agent. The main compound of turmeric is curcumin, which is responsible for the medicinal properties the plant has, which we'll talk about later. So a quick botanical description. The plant is actually a perennial herb, which grows to be about 3 to 5 feet in height, and has green pointed oblong leaves, which is surrounded by um, the yellow flowers, as shown on the picture on the right. The roots of the plant produce rhizomes, which are important for its medicinal use, and the plant generally thrives in warm and moist environmental habitats with um, about a thousand millimeters of rainfall. Um, there are several herbivorous invaders of the plant. One of them is Udesphis um, folis, and it's commonly known as the grass demon in Asia, and on the picture at the bottom you can see um, the invader feeding on the plant leaves. So the historical origin of the plant, um, it's known to have a long history uh, as it was originated in, in India during the second millennium BC. Um, and it was introduced to China in the 7th century and to Africa in the 13th century. And it was finally brought to the West, especially Europe, by the um, migrating Arab sailors. And on the picture on the right, you can see the movement of the, uh, of the spice throughout time, um, especially to the West. So the two main uh, writings that the plant has been documented in is um, the Atharva Veda, which is a religious Hindu scripture, and the writings of Marco Polo um, during his journey to India and China um, in 1290 AD. So there are wide range of traditional uses of the plant. Um, some of the early medicinal uses of the plant was to make fresh rhizomes into medicinal juices to heal skin infections, wounds, brains, and inflammations. In Africa, the juices were also used to treat eye infections. So in many areas in rural India, it's common to get eye diseases because of a lack of um, medications and health workers. And turmeric is used as a paste and is applied on the infected areas of the eye to heal the pain. Um, also, the women in their neonatal period make a paste of turmeric with powdered ginger and mix it in a hot glass of milk as a tonic drink to stay healthy. And another interesting uh, use I found was um, taking turmeric powder and neem leaves and putting it in a hot water bath um, as an antiseptic for um, chicken pox and smallpox in the early days. So turmeric also has a huge religious significance um, in ceremonies and festivals in Asia and in India. Um, it's believed to be a sacred and holy plant. Uh, in a few tribal communities there, a piece of turmeric is tied to a string believed to be a sacred uh, string for marriage. And in several urban and rural communities, even today, uh, turmeric is used during marriage preparations and ceremonies. And uh, before marriages, usually the turmeric and some oil is applied to the bride and the groom, um, as and it's believed to be a special ceremony before the um, marriage occurs. And I've actually been a part of uh, some of these um, turmeric application ceremonies, and I thought it was really cool to witness them uh, in India. Um, so turmeric also has a significance in culinary practices because it's it's used to give the rice and Indian curry its yellow um, color and flavor. Um, and not a lot of people know that turmeric was also used as a coloring agent, um, and it still is uh, in uh, Africa and Europe, um, and it's used to color cotton, silk, and wool, uh, wool and um, some of the poor areas use this as a method to earn um, household earnings. So to talk uh, more about the chemistry of the plant, um, as you can see from the table, the rhizomes contain uh, most of the um, chemical constituents of the plant and the main one is curcumin um, and the structure of that is shown um, on the top image and curcumin is responsible for the yellow color of the plant that we see. Um, in the form of a powder, and and it, and it takes up about two to five percent um, of the plant chemistry. So turmeric has a wide range of biological activities. Uh, there have been studies showing that curcumin behaves as a scavenger for free radicals, and also it can reduce uh, lipid peroxidation in rat livers. 
um, and it can also um, prevent liver damage um, as an HEPA toe protective agent. And an interesting study found in ducklings, uh, which were infected with a particular type of fungus, showed that extracts of um, turmeric uh, were able to reduce the effects of fungal toxins. Um, so the volatile oils of turmeric are also used as an anti-inflammatory um, agent in wound healing, skin inflammations, and allergies. So turmeric also has the ability to um, reduce cholesterol and triglyceride levels and uh, decrease the injuries and harm caused by myocardial infarction to benefit um, in cardiovascular diseases. Um, and it also can inhibit the formation of ulcers, which can be caused due to um, things such as stress and um, alcohol use uh, and can be beneficial in gastro gastrointestinal uh, diseases. So the main um, activity of curcumin, which is found, is, is anti-carcinogenic activity. And um, it has the ability, actually, to repress um, uh, tumor growth in various types of cancers that, have, that are being studied right now. So clinical studies, um, it's been shown that turmeric, turmeric powder can cause a relief in respiratory ailments such as cough, uh, dyspnea, which is a shortness of breath, and sputum production. Uh, and also there have been human clinical trials in cancer prevention in turmeric um, where individuals with colorectal cancer um, were given turmeric. And it was actually found that um, curcumin uh, absorbed into the cancerous tissues causing a beneficial effect on the intestines and the stomach if taken at a, uh, a low and proper dose. And actually there's an interesting study in uh, South India um, in women who used um, turmeric as an acne treatment and the, they divided the women in two groups. Uh, so those who did take turmeric and those who did not take turmeric um, as an application to treat acne. And it was actually found that there were no results supporting the fact that um, turmeric did have a role in treating acne, which is quite contradictory to what many people believe today. Um, and so a recent study dealing with um, turmeric was in patients who had osteoarthritis. And this study was conducted in Italy by um, a few group of scientists. And it was found that um, and the individuals were divided in two groups. So one group, um, were given the turmeric extract uh, and uh, given the standard uh, therapy for osteoarthritis and another group were just given the typical medical therapy. And it was found that the group uh, that received the special extract of turmeric had a 58% increase in their overall health and functionality when compared to the control group. So turmeric is uh, generally considered to be a low toxicity plant, um, however there can be side effects upon long-term exposure to the plant, uh, and this can lead to stomach ulcers, allergies, and kidney stones. Um, and it's often recommended um, by the Cancer Society that pregnant and breastfeeding women should not use um, turmeric, um, and especially people on blood thinners should avoid the use of the plant as it can cause herbal drug interactions, which can be detrimental to the um, health. So current allopathic and CAM therapies. So turmeric is uh, currently an essential part of Ayurveda and uh, TCM. Uh, and this falls under the um, subcategory of CAM, which is whole medical system. And it's currently uh, supplemented as a, um, marketed as a herbal supplement in the form of capsules, tinctures, and ground powders. And in the table at the bottom, you can see the dose recommendation uh, for adults um, according to the form of turmeric that they use um, is given there. So in conclusion, turmeric has a long and diverse um, history uh, of its use throughout time and has a wide range of biological activities and medicinal uses um, that have been used. And it's not only used as a medicine, but as a herb, a dye, a spice, uh, and religious ceremonies, and various other applications um, across the world um, and in Asia. Um, so currently, researchers are examining turmeric as an anti um, cancer agent, um, and they're looking at uh, curcumin in uh, preventing and treating colon, breast, and ovarian cancer. Um, and they're also looking at anti-aging properties um, of the plant, and along with um, the treatment of um, Alzheimer's disease. So despite this widespread, widespread research on the possible medicinal applications of turmeric, there have not been any studies examining drug development of the plant. Um, in the future, it would be really interesting to see if there are any drugs that 
uh, are derived from the plant in order to treat various other ailments that have not been um, treated using uh, turmeric so far. So these are just some images uh, showing different forms of turmeric used. Um, this figure is a botanical illustration of the plant. And this right here is um, a, uh, showing how a turmeric paste is made from the powder. Uh, and the image right here shows the full-grown um, plant with the yellow flowers um, and the green leaves. And this right here is the most commonly um, seen form of turmeric in the powder that um, individuals often use in their uh, cooking practices. Thank you so much for your attention.